What's going on, everybody? I'm W. And I'm the Thick Baby. And we're going to be bringing you some comic news. We've got some great releases this week coming at you guys. We've got What If, Venom, Radiant Black's got a new comic, and Thrawn and Vader are making an appearance. Ooh. Let's, Let's jump it. right into it. Nice. All right. I got Spider Punk Arms Race number one coming February 28th. This is a very popular comic uh, back in, well, not the day, but it's not older, but the previous series is very popular. So I would pick this one up. This is basically World Without Norman Osborn. What would Spider Man do? And okay. he'd be punk as hell, boy. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, it's got a cool design for the Spider Man costume. He looks way more punk. And then I think it's got Doc Ock, and I can't remember who the other one is. Okay. But it, it's worth a pickup, I think, with how popular the previous series was. So Norman Osborn, I guess, really did help him become a scientist. Well, without Norman guy. Osborn, we don't have Oscorp. We don't have him getting the, uh, well, most, most of the influence from Oscorp and Norman being his best friend's dad yeah. is him getting involved with the yeah, science, science scene and, and the internships and probably getting help to college and yeah. stuff like that. So, so yeah, there's a big change. Great punk then. Yeah. That'll be interesting. Uh, we got What If Venom number one coming February 28th. This is a part of the What If series that's popular on Disney+. Plus. So what if this happened? What if this happened? This is what if Eddie Brock wasn't Venom's... Uh, symbiote. Yeah, symbiote counterpart kind of thing. Uh, so this goes through stories including... Okay. What if Venom was attached to Loki? What if Venom was attached to Doctor Strange? Moon Knight? The Hulk? So we get a bunch of different variations of Venom with other superheroes, which I can't not seeing that'll that be branch off. That'll yeah. be cool to watch. Yeah, so if that's popular enough, that'll branch off to other comics where we'll see Venom Hulk, Venom Doctor Strange, something like that, Ooh, and this will be the first appearance of I would of like them. to watch Venom Doctor Strange. Exactly. That would be cool. So I would pick this one up and just hold on to it as a maybe further down the line we'll get this or this, and then this will be a first appearance of that. Oh, yeah. So. Uh, last one I got for my pickups are Giant Size Fantastic Four number one coming February 28th. Namor, the king of Atlantis, is imprisoned and a new threat comes from the sea. This also includes a reprinting of Fantastic Four number 33 from Stanley and Jack Kirby, which is a classic Atlantis Fantastic Four comic. Okay, right yeah. on. So reprinting inside, a uh, cool story with it. And it's Fantastic Four. So what's not collectible about it? I'd pick it up, hold on to it. All right. Well, speaking on the Spider-Man topic, let's keep running with it. We got Miles Morales, number 17. It'll be coming February 28th, you know, Wednesday, Wednesday Warriors. Standard price, $3.99. Pretty good. And uh, it's going to be kicking off right where the series was leaving off with Miles Morales basically just becoming Spider-Man yeah. and figuring out his whole way through. So it'll be basically his whole first adventure, kind of like becoming his own thing, kind of. Uh, and what's more collectible than Sp Miter blah, 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 blah. Miles Morales, Spider-Man right now? Yeah, he's yeah. huge. So, I mean, pick it up, check it out, story will be good, and then maybe have a nice resale for yourself. Yeah. We also got Radiant Black. It's getting his first double feature release. Am I wrong with this was the uh, first African-American written comic from that one yes. when we were discussing Black History Month yes. back then? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I remember this. And this it is number 28 and 28.5. And comics don't do this too often where the fight is so good they're immediately releasing another issue with it, but okay. they couldn't put it into a single issue of a comic. That's a long fight. And the covers of the comics go together. So if you get an A variant, get another A or two Bs or two Cs because it forms a whole picture together with them. Oh, that's cool. And it is really cool looking. I'm going to go pick it up just for the display purpose. Yeah, it's yeah. sweet. So pick it up, collector's item, display mm -hmm. comic. It'll be a sweet read, and it'll be three ninety nine dollars for each comic, 8 bucks total roughly for the oh, both yeah. of them. And our last but not least, Star Wars Thrawn Alliance number two is kicking off. And where the last one left off, we got to see Thrawn and Vader finally partying up and about to start sending their way through the galaxy, voyaging. And they have one goal in mind. Okay. To find Padme. Because Vader is getting premonitions and forced feelings that Padme's out there in the universe. 
but it's actually his kid's energy he's feeling, and he doesn't know it. Okay, so this is before... Yes. Yeah, okay. So Thrawn and Vader are going out and just burning the galaxy to ashes looking for Padme. I This is a little off topic, but I finally started watching that Obi-Wan series, oh. and I'd say I'm two episodes in, so this is kind of adding up in my head now. I'm not the biggest Star Wars fan, yeah. but I, I'm getting into it now. Yeah, Thrawn is not to be messed with. His tactics are brutal. Okay. Like, you thought that the Imperial Army is brutal, just burning places and blowing up planets. I mean, like, what's worse than blowing up a planet? Well, Thrawn's worse than that. This dude Fair is enough. brutal. <laughs> uh, I might pick it up and give it a read. But that's all I've got for my comic news. Hey, everybody. I'm the Thick Baby. And I'm W. And thanks for watching our comic news segment. We have merch. It's out now. Go get it. It's us on the back, animated, all cool-like, and our logo right on the front, and their sweatshirts. They're first come, first serve on all the sizes, so make sure you go to our website, newschoolproject.us, to pick those up. But thanks for watching, and we'll be back next week with more comic news.